All right, third graders, we are continuing our unit on measurement of capacity. Okay, so we're just kind of reviewing it. So here are our four units, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons, but this is how you abbreviate them. So C for cup, PT for pint, QT for quart, and GAL for gallon. And notice that none of them are capitalized when you do the abbreviations. Here's another way of looking at them. I know it's a little bit blurry, but again, it has them going from smallest to largest. So cup is the smallest, then pint, quart, and gallon. And to be technically correct, you should have the period after the letters in the abbreviation. We've talked about that before. Okay, so one thing that you don't necessarily have to know in third grade is that one cup equals 16 ounces, but it is good just to know, okay? So remember that one pint is two cups, one quart equals two pints, that also equals four cups, and then one gallon equals four quarts, which equals eight pints, which equals 16 cups. And then you can see the abbreviations again on the left. Here is an example of a measuring cup. Now this one is a little deceiving because it looks like a juice box, but it must be a large juice box in order to be a pint or larger than a regular. A quart we've talked about is some type of juice or milk container in like a carton. Sometimes it's in a jug. And then a gallon would be the big jug of either juice or milk. Okay, here we're going to be putting these where they go. So let's start with gallon on the right hand side. Definitely a pond. Definitely a lake. Those are pretty big areas of water. Um, an aquarium. Aquariums are large. They have to hold quite a bit of water. A bathtub. You don't want to be freezing cold, so you want it to cover the majority of you. And a gasoline tank. So when I fill up mine, it definitely takes many, many gallons, and they increase in price. Okay, let's go back to the left side and do cup. Well, that would definitely be a paper cup. And I would also say a juice carton. Now, this could mean multiple things, like the juice carton that you would get at lunch sometimes, or if it's like a um, the juice carton. Oh, Nelly, that's not what I meant to move. Or the juice carton could also go here, meaning instead of milk, it's juice. So I guess I'll leave it here just to be on the safe side. A bucket, definitely gonna be gallon. A spray bottle, a cup would be not enough. A quart would be too much. So I'm gonna put it under pint. Remember that a pint is like a bottle of water. A fishbowl, a cup would not be enough. A pint probably wouldn't be enough either. So I'm gonna put that under quart. Okay, remember that a quart is four cups, so yeah, I think that's about it. And then a bowl of soup, well, a cup probably wouldn't be enough. A quart would be way too much soup, so with a gallon, so I would put that under pint. Okay, so remember that juice carton could go in a couple places. And then the pet water dish, God, if I just had a cup, I would have to refill it over and over and over and over. And even for a pint, so I'm going to put mine under quart. Okay, I definitely put at least four cups of water in there. Um, probably even more because I have a pretty big water dish since I have three dogs now. Um, moving on. Here's just another way to look at it. Smallest to largest. All right, here we are actually going to decide which one would be the best 
estimate. Okay, the best estimate. So in order to fill up this bathtub, is the best estimate three gallons or is the best estimate 30 gallons? So three milk jugs or 30 milk jugs? I would say 30. Three gallons is not going to be enough at all. You're going to be pretty chilly in there. Okay, a bucket. What's the best estimate? One gallon or 12 gallons? Yeah, I would say one gallon. 12 gallons is going to be way too much, and then the bucket's going to be overflowing. Okay, this aquarium. It looks pretty large. So what do you think would be the best estimate? Two gallons or 20 gallons? Yeah, I would say 20 gallons. Two gallons is not going to be enough, and the fish are not going to survive. Moving on. Okay, a can of paint that you would get from like Lowe's or Home Depot. Would the best estimate be one quart or one gallon? Yep, I would say one gallon for sure. You need enough in order to paint all the walls in the room. And last but not least, here's just another way or another um, another form of different pictures that you may or not may not have seen yet for capacity containers. So you can see the measuring cup, you can see the pint of ice cream. Those are the ones I get because it's just enough for just me. Um, a quart of oil. You'll learn that the more the older that you get, and then you'll be able to drive. And then the gallon of milk. All right. That is it for today. So head back to uh, Google Classroom. I just lost my train of thought, but Google Classroom and see what you need to do next.